Chris, first of all, welcome to town. I'm Bird. Hey. But uh, I'm Bird. No, no, <laughs> that's what I'm going to call you, Bird. Take me I'm back. AC. <laughs> take, take me back to June 19th. You just come off, uh, you know, finishing the season with Memphis. Were you rooting for the Cavs because of LeBron? Were, was there an inkling you might wind up here? What were you thinking as you were watching the finals? Uh, absolutely, rooting for uh, the Cavaliers, man, and, and rooting for LeBron. You know, winning that championship down in Miami and then seeing him come here and win one for the, the state of Ohio and the, and the city of Cleveland was uh, was great seeing him do that and accomplish that. Mm -hmm. What do you think you can impart on this ball club? Championship pedigree? You know what it takes to win a, a mm -hmm. ring? You're a, a team first kind of guy. What do you hope to uh, to bring? Well, of course, winning championship is one of the hardest things to do. Mm -hmm. And um, if you implement that into your workout and uh, – and uh, know that that is going to be a long road. Uh, save your body and get ready for it. Uh, it, it. It'll definitely help in the long run. You know, listening to Chris sounds just like listening to LeBron. They have the same, they know, that's what I like. They have the same blueprint. They know what it takes. They know what's going to, and they can filter that down to the younger guys. That's going to that's gonna be huge. Absolutely, right. absolutely. And it just it's just a, uh, uh, a testimony to, to all these guys to know that they went through that same thing. And for me to come in here and, and be able to provide some of the experiences I, I've gone through and what I know, uh, to come off that bench and be a game changer is what I'm going to be doing, and that's what I'm going to Oh, that's what I'm going to be planning for. I love, we, it. We I saw, love it. We saw it last year with Richard Jefferson coming uh, in the offseason and, and then during the season, Channing Fry, the ability to fit into that locker room. I, s I assume you take a lot of pride in that too. Oh, yeah, I mean, to fit in that locker room, you got to have a strong mentality, man. Cause, uh, <laughs> uh, if you, if you uh, take anything personally, you, you don't belong here. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay. those guys are a great group of guys, and um, I look forward to spending a lot of time on the road and here in, in Cleveland and uh, helping to defend this title. Mm -hmm. I know coming from Memphis to here has to be a little bit of a change, too, because it seems like they were having their trouble there, and then come here where after a winning – and then now I'm trying to keep it together. I know you had to feel good about that. Oh, absolutely. I feel real good about it, uh, the situation that I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when I got that phone call that Cleveland wanted me to come here, then I was, I was ecstatic. You say, let's, let's bring get, it on. Let's get to work. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be a great season. Um, you know, they, they won the title. And, and when you're on top, they're coming after you. Yeah. And you've got to be prepared for it. You know you'll become a, a very quick crowd favorite here, just like you were in, in Miami. And, what do you know about Cleveland, the fan base? Obviously, you saw a video of 1.3 million people stacking uh, downtown. Uh, I know a little bit about it, especially coming in here as a rival. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, they were good and they were they were kind and they were also you know hateful. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, that's the loyal that's loyal fans, man. Sure. And, you know, they they had some some things to say, and uh, some of them were come play for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. So, yeah. yeah. So I mean, they were. They, you know, they gave, they gave a little bit of a filter in there to try to try to get me here and persuade me to come here. I already got, and I've, I've talked to about four or five of my buddies, and they already pumped up when they found out that you were signing here. Mm -hmm. They were all ready to go. I mean, so believe me, the fanfare, the fans will love you, Chris, and it'll be, you'll have a great time. Oh, I look forward to yeah, it. They, they, yep. Mm -hmm. My man, thanks. Thank you, guys. Enjoy it. Appreciate it. We'll, uh, Welcome to the family. Exactly. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you. We'll see him, of course, at the Wine and Gold scrimmage uh, coming up this Sunday at the queue at 3 o'clock. Let's head over to uh, J. Mike and Rafa. They've got uh, um, Joe Gabriel. And maybe we can find out, guys, why in the heck is the optimist ready to make it to his uh, final year? I don't get this.